Hey everyone, this is Jamie Pelais with the Ladies Only Hangout, and I have Karina Nash on, as well as Jan Moss, and hopefully Stephanie will be joining us soon. As you can see, we're missing one of our compadres. Um, unfortunately, Katie is not feeling good today, so if you all could keep her in your prayers, I'd greatly appreciate that, and God willing, she'll be with us on Thursday night. So it's Mindset Monday, and we're going to talk about, you guessed it, Mindset, and today we're going to talk about our favorite tools and resources. So we all have one that is in common, and I'm not sure about the other ones. We didn't uh, collaborate beforehand, so it's going to be a little fun and surprises for each of us, but um, at the uh, end of the day, I will get out a resource PDF to anyone that wants it with all of the ladies' resources so that way you can have it for your own personal arsenal. So a little bit about me real quick. Um, I started in internet network marketing back in 2005. And I was pregnant with my first child. I was in an abusive marriage at the time. Um, he was kind of in and out of my life. And I couldn't rely on him for, quite frankly, anything except for to not really be treating me so well. Um, I wanted to better my life uh, for my, my son, who I was pregnant with at the time. And I was making just ends meet. I did have a work at home job at the time. But it literally just paid my bills and provided some food and some gas, and that was about the extent of it. I didn't have any extra money at the end of the month, and I was pretty frugal. I wasn't just spending money to spend money. I didn't have any extra money to spend in the first place. So literally just getting by. Um, so I looked at network marketing as a way to get out of that situation and to be able to make sure that the child that I was about to have, I'd be able to provide for him and give him the things that, that my parents couldn't give me when I was growing up that they wished they could have gave me. Unfortunately, my first introduction uh, to network marketing, I was lied to. I wanted to be able to truly work from home. I didn't want to do cold calls. I didn't want to go to home parties, and I didn't want to... Um, you know, go to the, you know, hotel meetings and stuff like that. It's not that I have anything against those. It's just not personally what I want to be doing. And if it works for you, then kudos. But I do know that no matter how much you love to do it, if it is working for you, the majority of people, it's just not duplicatable for their team. So I wanted to be able to do everything from home, from the Internet. And this particular company that I joined that I was told I could do just that actually could not. My sponsor lied to me just to get me in. Um, so that was disappointing. I obviously left that company because I just wasn't willing to compromise on what I wanted to do with my business. And if I were you, I wouldn't do the same. You know, never compromise. If you know that what you want for your life, go after it. Do not compromise. Do not be willing to settle. So I left a little bit of a negative taste in my mouth, obviously. Um, I kind of thought, well, maybe all this stuff is a scam. Maybe none of this stuff's real. Though in the back of my head, I knew that, well, it has to be somewhat real because there's so many people doing this and it's been going on for so long. There has to be something real out there. But I basically put it on the back burner um, and just kept working my at-home job. Um, fortunately, my son uh, was born full-term stillborn in October of that year. And needless to say, I wasn't really thinking about anything much at that time except for just being able to force myself out of bed and to go on with my day. Um, well ahead, I ended up uh, getting pregnant with my daughter, and I started rethinking about the possibilities of being able to provide something more. I was still in that abusive marriage, unfortunately, and I was looking for something something else again. I knew that the likelihood that my, my husband was going to change and become a better person was getting pretty slim. The further the years went on, the slimmer it was getting, and I realized that I wanted to be able to give more to my daughter that I was then pregnant to. So I started doing a little bit of searching, but I didn't make any decisions. It wasn't until she was about six months old that I decided to actually re-enter the internet network marketing world. And once again, I found myself lied to and totally disappointed. Um, the support that I was supposed to get did not exist. And when I looked at the compensation plan, it wasn't as great as they said it was. As a matter of fact, when I really sat down and figured out my hourly wage, it was quite pathetic. It was way worse than minimum wage. And I couldn't justify to continue working with this company knowing the stuff that I knew, knowing that the leadership was a hot mess and the training was a hot mess and the compensation plan was quite frankly a hot mess. So I took off and I did eventually find a company that was so-so. But it always seemed like there was something. I never could find the right combination, whether it be the compensation plan, something wrong with the policies and procedures, or something wrong with, with you know, the integrity of the company as a whole, or their products and services. 
And that was really important to me. You know, I wanted to be able to give something to someone, whether it be a product, a physical product, or a service, or training, whatever it was, I wanted to be able to give that person that stuff with integrity, knowing that it actually would help them in their lives. And as a matter of fact, it, I wanted something that if it was so awesome in the first place, that I'd be willing to provide it to you, even if I wasn't going to make a dime off of it. Meaning, even if there was no income plan attached to that, I would still want to provide it to you because I knew it would be that valuable in your life. So I didn't find that. And in 2009, 2010, uh, me and my buddy Larry Rivera, we actually tried to create that system that we felt was missing in the industry, create that environment with the tools and resources that we knew people needed. Unfortunately, we kind of went about it a little bit wrong. We gave everything away for free, which sounds cool, I know, but it really ended up not being so cool. And we ended up spinning our wheels, spending so much time that we might as well have been working two full-time jobs, if not more. Not only that, but we started out, like I said, on the wrong foot, giving away the whole kit and caboodle for free. And not only that, we found out that we didn't have the time or the manpower or the money to truly be able to make that dream a reality in the right way. So we got frustrated and we closed the door and called it quits. We both were floundering for a little bit and beyond frustrated and I eventually just kind of gave up on the industry as a whole. I mean, no matter where I looked, I wasn't finding what I wanted and what I knew people needed and that was beyond disappointing to say the very least. So I went back to doing my freelance graphic design and said, okay, I'm done with this. I also left um, my abusive marriage finally, and that was at the end of 2011. And I took about a year and a half off from the industry. Now, Larry, he had given up, but he hadn't fully given up, and he was still searching. And so I'm very thankful that he was actually looking because I wasn't looking at anything. I mean, I like deleted, you know, my subscriber subscriptions to different, you know, email lists, and I just turned all the noise off. I just didn't want to hear anything anymore. He had found something that actually all of us are a part of, this movement that's really beautiful, that had the tools and the resources, as well as just the whole system as a whole was exactly what we had envisioned back in 2009, 2010. It was exactly what we were trying to do, but didn't have the resources for, except for the people that were running this show, they had the resources to make it happen in a proper way. It took me a while to see the vision because I just so didn't want to hear anything about this industry anymore. But Larry never gave up on me and I finally found a home. A home where I can gladly say that these products and services I would give to you even if I wasn't going to make a dime. That I would give to you and know without a shadow of a doubt that if you apply what's in them that you're going to see some kind of success. And before you know, I go on to Jan or Karina, I want to say that we can't promise you anything. As a matter of fact, you know, income disclosure right here, I can't promise you're going to make a dime or even a penny for that matter because they just don't let us do that. But I can promise you that if you get back with the person that sent you to this link, sent you to this video, that you will find something of value that will change your life. That much I can promise you. So Karina, I'm going to switch it off to you. Tell everyone a little bit about yourself. Hi. Um my name is Karina Nash, and um, I only recently got into uh, internet marketing, and um, uh, it's been about about possibly eight weeks now um, that um, I've been within this team. And um, prior to that, I had a 13-year uh, career that uh, I absolutely loved, um, and uh, I still have long-term goals concerning that, but anyway, uh, to um, sum it up, um, I started having some struggles towards the end of that career, and I ended up losing my job on December 3rd of 2012. And at that point, um, at my age, I had already had seven years of schooling, college that is, above and beyond all the other schooling, and um, I just didn't feel that at my age, I was ready to totally learn an entire new career. So I decided, well, I want to stay at home. I've struggled through some custody battles with my children, uh, my daughters mainly, my last two daughters. Um, and um, so about the first eight years of that uh, 13 years, I was in a real serious custody battle over my youngest one, who's now 11. And um, 
So um, with that with that being said, um, I wanted to stay at home with her. I want to be at home with her, and I want to spend that quality time with her. It's very important to me. And um, uh, you know, she's um, she's uh, well. How do I put this in a polite manner? She's 11, but she started developing at a very young age. So she's at a point in her life where she needs her mother. She needs a mom figure. So um, that's that's where we're at. I'm trying to kind of guide her in the right path. <laughs> and uh, so I chose to try and find something online. So I started surfing the web, and you know all the stuff was just coming at me, just oodles of stuff. Uh, and um, I tried a few, and I lost some serious money for me at my income because being on unemployment after being fired is a struggle. So I lost quite a bit of money in that little venture. Uh, I took like three or four different little ventures um, before I ran across this system. And um, although I'm still currently where I was at at that point, I'm not emotionally or mentally. And I love this team. I really love this team. I, I get so much um, inspiration. And I know in my head and in my heart that there's big things to come real soon for me. And so I'm just holding on and drudging on. And um, that's that that's where it's at for me. Um, the people that I have met here in this team are sincere. They're real. Uh, you don't have to talk to an automated machine. <laughs> you can actually get on the phone and talk to these people, or, or talk to them, you know, live, uh, web, and um, or you know, text or email or whatever. And um, I've never um, had so much help either. Uh, all the other systems, they didn't have, as Jamie was talking about, all the things in place to help you learn and to help you grow. Um, so yeah, I've been doing this for only eight weeks, but I have learned so much in eight weeks. Every day, every day I learn something new. And so that just makes me feel like I'm one step closer to that, what do they call it, the... the I open her the big ta da I'm there <laughs> finally. So um, you know um, that that's where I'm at with um, this team, and um, I'm just gonna keep on going day after day. And um, I'm so looking forward to the upcoming event. I missed the last one, and so that's another thing that I'm really holding on to. And I get to bring somebody with me. She's coming! Yay! <laughs> I'm so excited. So uh, that's a plus two for me. So uh, yeah, I just positive things keep happening. So I just keep hanging on in there. That's it. That's Thanks. that's awesome, Karina. Um, so Karina is proof, as well as everyone on this panel, that our mindset training does work, and we'll talk a little bit that, about that a little bit. So I'm gonna actually before Jan, I'm gonna pass it on to Stephanie. Stephanie, by the way, so glad to have you on, and so glad we can finally see you. Yay! Hey, so let everyone know a little bit about you, please. Stephanie, are you muted? Sorry, I had my mic too and was still muted. <laughs> I'm like, why she's talking to me? <laughs> I finally got everything connected here. I'm glad it worked this time. Last time we did something weird and everything went kaput and I was lost in no man's land. But I listened to you guys last time. <laughs> so that was good. <laughs> So, so you said I was trying to catch up. You're talking about mindset tools and what we. Oh well, I was. I just want some, you to introduce yourself. You know, Stephanie, like let everyone know a little bit about you know how you started um, in network marketing and how you you know found our team and anything else that you'd like to share. <laughs> okay. Well, what I did, I started. Well, I'll go back. It's kind of easier to start kind of at the beginning of your story instead of in the middle. I'll try not to feel too bad. Um. Back when I was, I guess it was, I'm trying to think, um, I wanted, I got married and went, um, worked, you know, the nine to five corporate job type thing and 
my husband and I decided that once we started a family, I was not going to be working outside of the house. So before kids, I did like I like to do research. We did research and I ran around and found things, and I found something that I liked, and it was in direct sales, which is not network parking, but at that time it was like the thing to do, and mom that's what people so much, and it was at the home parties and stuff like that. So I found a company that I liked, and I um, started doing that before I had kids. And then um, after I had kids, I also between the, between between time the time I started this job, this home party business, I moved. My husband got a new job. We found a new place, and so one nice thing about I found out when you work for yourself. You can move your business and you don't have to start from ground zero. So that was really nice. And so, but I also found out that once I started, we started a family and I had, you know, my first child, I did not have the time to go out and do these home parties. So I love working on the computer. I actually have um, a background in computer science. So I like hanging on computers. So I started doing some networking. I think I actually probably at that time joined Facebook. I was trying to remember when I actually started getting into the social media market and I can't put a date on it. So sometime in between child one and child two, so that would have been in between 1998 and 2001, I probably logged into, started doing um, social networking and I found, learned about, there's this thing called network marketing. And I'm like going, oh, this looks like it this might be something interesting, and so I'm going, I wonder what all this network marketing stuff is about. So, um, you know, connected with a few friends and my social networks on, on Facebook and things like that, and connected with a few people and found out there's a lot of stuff out there. <laughs> and I keep on reading all these things. I'm always very, very leery, and I was like, going, hmm, I wonder if I should try doing this one. It says, you know, Blah, 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 you can make lots of money, but, you know, it costs, you know, and it's free to start. Blah, 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 you know, is this really a good thing to do? And I never felt, you know, that warm and fuzzy feeling, so I didn't pursue those things. So I just kept on being staying in my little comfort zone, which was direct sales, and I remember with all my little direct sales moms, and we did all our little sharing and things, and then I said, going, you know, this is really, really hard, because I can't get out. By this time, I had two kids. I'm going... You thought it was hard trying to get out with one child. Try to find time to get out with two children, go to training meetings, schedule home parties. I go, there's got to be a better way. So I connected with some people who were more knowledgeable than me, which is, at that time, pretty easy to find somebody who knew more than I did. But I found somebody that I connected with and, you know, started um, finding out, oh, yeah, there are some other things out there. I'm still not sure how much, you know, What's a good thing to do? And so being a person that was geared toward products, I kind of looked at some of those online companies that had products as in, um, you know, something like something for your house or something like that, not a business tool. It was just like a product health, health product, vitamins and things like that, and they could sell it on the Internet. My, my um, direct sales company was not didn't allow that, so I had to really, you know, go knock on the door so to speak, which, you know, they don't have to order sales books anymore. But I had to do the home parties if I wanted to really make any money. And I said, oh, this is not going to happen. I have to find something else. So at this time, you know, I tried to sit there going, oh, well. I finally get, started getting smart. And I said, oh, business tools is the way to go. Everybody needs a business tool who's online. They, you know, no matter what business they're in, they need to have a business tool to help market whatever that is that they're love, whatever they love. So I started hearing about a few things and somewhere in my little social networking connections I ran into um, Bill Connolly, cash flow dude, and um, we started getting involved. I did a few projects with him and we did a you know a few companies together and all of which I'm not I'm not in any of those anymore. I don't think he is either. So <laughs> But um, we're both here on Team Inspire. We're both, you know, he got me to the point where he said, this is a great business tool. I said, okay. I've always wanted, you know, I've looked at it, and I looked at what Team Inspire is doing. I'm going, you know, 
this sounds like a great group of people. It has a great, you know, tool to offer. I'm going to be a part of this group. This is something I want to do. And so that's how I got here. And then I got connected with you lovely ladies. Not very well, but we're getting better at it. <laughs> and so I hope that, you know, it's gonna it's, it's working. It's working now. Not cross our fingers that next time it'll still be here. But um I mean it's great I met Karina. It's like a random thing and we had at the beginning have a problem come to find out we only are like an hour apart from each other. And so it's 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 you know it's, it's real the internet really is a small world. So I'm just glad to be here and meet all you ladies. Well, your your prime example, Stephanie, of uh, perseverance. So no matter how many times you've had technical difficulties, you keep trying and trying and trying. So I promise you, like next week, it's going to be a breeze. You'll be good. Thank you for sharing your story. I really appreciate it. All right, Jan Moss from the UK. Take it off. Right, I'm on now. I think am I? Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Well, I've been an entrepreneur for many, many, many years, and I mostly originally in the, the offline business world. I think my first business was as a an agent, a theatrical agent, and I used to look at the musical theatre performers in for example the, the lead guy in Buddy on tour in the West End, Buddy Holly the musical. And I did that for ten years and I really, really loved it. But after the end of ten years of going to the theatre three nights a week, which was usually Show shows that the students were putting on. It wasn't usually glamorous big shows in the West End. It was often the, the theatre shows that the, the kids put on, which I, I did love. But after like ten years of say going straight from the office to the show, getting back about eleven o'clock at night every night for three well three nights a week, it was getting a bit tiring. And also my mum got sick, so I needed to get back to to live a bit nearer her which was in Yorkshire and there's not so much going on in the show business world in, in up, up north as we say. So um, before I left down south I did try a, a, a network marketing company which was parties and at the time it wasn't too bad because I had lots of friends down there and I did enjoy it but there was no support. My my um, lady who Signed me up as it were, very shortly left, and I was doing it by myself. And after a bit, got tired of that. So, when I came back up here, I wasn't going to do anything like that again. And the same thing happened, I was introduced to another one, and I kind of felt it again and no, never got very far. But I had never ever forgotten the vision, and I've seen that the, the model works, network marketing worked. It, 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 you know, you, you don't have to, I didn't want to work. For somebody else on a permanent basis, and I didn't want to have to work for myself and to, you know, very, really, really hard all those hours till I was like 94, which the UK pension looks like we have to be about that age by the time we're allowed to retire. So I could never forget that dream, and I've, I've been looking, you know, looking for things to do online. So I definitely didn't want to be going out all the time, and I wanted to be able to stay at home and live in a beautiful, beautiful place. And the thought of just being able to stay at home and look at the beautiful view and, and have my own hours is, is just a, a dream. And I, I've worked with Jason Cardamon, um, one of our leaders in Team Inspire, on, on various projects. And I'd already heard about Team Inspire or the greater part of that before he, he mentioned it. And when he was talking about that, I thought, well, if he's now going right front with it and this is it, I've got to go for it and I'm really, really glad I did. Made my first big big money for me in uh, <laughs> my $1,500 day uh, the, the other week so that was really exciting so I thought well it's not only proof that network marketing works, it proves that TV Spy works and it proves that I, I worked as well so <laughs> it's all coming together so I'm looking forward to so onwards and upwards and uh, helping lots of other people to do the same. Me in a nutshell, I think. That's awesome, Jan. All right, so ladies, um, we're going to talk about our favorite mindset tools and resources. So I'm going to start with Karina. Karina, what are some of your favorite tools and resources for mindset? 
You're muted, Karina. I forgot, sorry. <laughs> okay, so um, as you spoke of earlier, the inner circle. Um, what I get from the inner circle is um, a vast amount of information. Um, when I go in and I and I check out all the trainings that are available and everything. Um, however, in the beginning, I kind of got, I mean, there's so much, I kind of got overwhelmed. So I've kind of backed up a little bit now, and I'm trying to take baby steps and take one training at a time and apply it. Because before, I was just reading them all, and I wasn't remembering anything. So now I'm kind of trying to write down the steps as I go and apply them. And so that, that has helped tremendously. Um, and I must also uh, mention your friend, who I also adore very much, and that is Larry Rivera. He puts out a lot of trainings as well, a lot of um, things that are very helpful for us newbies <laughs> to, uh, you know, uh, progress and um, to be productive. So um, that's, um, I think, my second favorite is um, the trainings that he puts out. He's, he's uh, very clear and concise step by step, so it makes it pretty easy for somebody who's not technically uh, literate like me <laughs> to get by. And um, I also, I really, really love Think and Grow Rich, the book. I, I'm i clear, I know that we're supposed to be back on like four or five, but I'm in chapter seven. <laughs> uh, I've been enjoying it, so I just, I read a little bit every day. I try to read a little bit every day um, from that book. Um, so, um, sticking to following a core commitments. That's another thing. Um, I've kind of I've kind of backed out a little bit lately on um, trying to join all of the hangouts because I found that trying to be involved in all of them was taking way too much of my time. And so I've backed out a little bit of those. Not that I that they're not helpful because they are very much helpful. Um, but I'm trying to key in on sticking to my eight core commitments. So as long as I can accomplish those, then you know I'll join the hangout once in a while, um, and, and and eventually I'll get good enough and quick enough faster so that you know it won't be an issue. I can join them all because I really love being in the hangouts. But I think that the first come first the priority for me is the A core commitment. So um, just um, that and having set my one, five, and ten year goals, and and my goal statement and posted them right on right beside my dad where I see him every morning and every night. Um, has also been helpful. However, I got those goals up here too, so you know, that's helpful as well. Um, so I'm determined to make those goals, uh, each one, uh, one in one year, and well, uh, a couple in one year, and then a couple in five years, and a couple in ten years. Um, and then um, Part of that is, uh, part of the goals is uh, the intent that everybody talks about, setting an intent, having an intent. Well, my very first intent that um, I think I set was to either get signups and or to have uh, somebody take with me to the event. And so I've reached it. I'm, ex I'm totally ecstatic and stoked about the fact that I get to bring somebody. I'm still working on the signups, but if it doesn't happen, I've at least reached my intent because it was Andor. <laughs> so, you know, that that's that is uh, the things that I um, uh, that help me to uh, maintain a positive mindset. That's awesome, Karina. You said something really important. Well, actually, two really important things that you said. You said that that uh, at first you were just you know listening or reading the stuff but you weren't applying it and so it just didn't matter you weren't retaining the information but now you're taking the time to take it one bite at a time and, and not only you know read or listen but actually start applying that and that's that's what's important because you can have a ton of knowledge but if you're not using it it's totally pointless and then the other thing you said was is you started to prioritize your time and realize that, that while you know, getting on Hangouts is really awesome and are beneficial and you did learn, you've realized that sometimes you can't get on the live ones. And instead, you, you're concentrating on what's the most important, which is getting your eight core commitments. For those that aren't on our team, eight core commitments are just things that we do every single day and every, not just on our team, but our whole 
our whole movement, our whole company does these eight core commitments every single day and gets results. And the whole thing is, is you know, if you don't do them every day, well, you're not going to see consistency in your results. So I applaud you for for taking initiative to realize, like, well, I need to prioritize in this, and then when I have extra time, then I go do this. So that's great. All right, wonderful. Jan, um, I know that you might have to go a little bit early, so I want you to go ahead and let us know what your favorite you know, tools and resources are for mindset. Well, funnily enough, uh, mostly the same as Karina. <laughs> um, the, the, uh, the book that we're doing for our book club is, is We Can Grow Rich. I, I didn't have the CD of it before, but I've actually been reading it. And I remember when I was listening to it, it was old in the car before, so there's lots of things that he suggests, the problem he suggests that you really need to write down. And every time I was driving, I was thinking, oh, I should be sitting down to do this because I'm not driving, not very good either, to try and write it down while you're driving. And uh, because I've done it as the book club, then I've had to do it as sitting down. It's kind of forced me into a corner, not that I didn't want to, but it's, it's similar to, to Karina's, like you, you have to prioritise things and if you only have a little bit of time, um, then doing the eight core steps was was the, the was a priority. But one of the eight core steps is to read something each day as well. So uh, a personal development. So it's been really great to be able to to actually sit down and concentrate on it. And also I've been blogging, doing video blogs on reviewing that book. So um, I think when you try to teach it to someone else, you always learn it better and you take it in more. Um, obviously the, the Inner Circle Listening, which is a series of audios, that's a great for whatever you're not doing anything where you have to use your your mind in words. You can be doing the washing up or cleaning or driving and you just got background noise on. Why not have background noise that is really great to, to uplift you and that's, that's a great thing I find. And the intentions as well, Karen. Um, the there was a, a blog post that, that Jason did explaining how to really set your intentions and to use it as a recording. We write it down, how to write it, and then how to record it and how to really get into the emotions. It's no good of just saying your intention, but to really sort of live it, dream it, pretend you're there as if it's already happened. And that's been the most amazing thing for me. That's that's when I, it was only days after that when I reached my fifteen hundred dollar day, which was completely out of the blue, I wasn't expecting. And then again this morning, I, although it wasn't from a written one, but it, I, I got into the mindset of how it was done because I've still got a, a, a very small part time job as well, which is to do with sales. And that hasn't been going great for the company recently. It's a difficult time in, in the UK as it probably is in, the, in, the, in America, but particularly in the, the field that we're in, which is like compost and mulch, <laughs> and nobody's nobody's buying that sort of thing at the moment either in the landscape world. And I had to try and achieve so many customers. And this morning, when I was driving, and I was thinking, right, my intention is to to get new customers for the business this week, and. But I started at nine by eleven. I had two new customers, <laughs> so I thought that was pretty awesome. So I think setting intention and really believing it, and really absolutely forgetting put, putting any disbelief aside, is the, probably the best thing for me at the moment. That's just like a magic magic spell. That's awesome. Yeah, definitely setting your intention. Um, it's the biggest thing. You know, um, they actually talked about a lot in the trainings that we have in the back office, but as well as the event that I last went to. Um, if you don't set your intention, it's kind of like you're flying blind. You know, you have no real intent of what you're going to do, why you're doing it. So if you if you haven't set your intention, for those that are listening, you know, on your life as a whole, what is it that you want to achieve? What's your purpose? Why do you want to do what it is that you're doing right now? Definitely sit down tonight and, and really set out your intention. Tension. And one of the things that we'll be giving out to everyone is one of the favorite books that the ladies keep talking about, Thinking Grow Rich. Um, I'll definitely send that out because it goes through a formula, like a literally step-by-step -step plan on setting your intention and a whole lot more than that. So if you're not sure how to even go about setting it, um, we'll give you instructions on how to do that. Just ask the person that brought you to this call or actually hang out. I always want to call it a call, but 
Hangouts, and they'll definitely get that to you. So Stephanie, let us know what your favorite uh, mindset training tools and resources are. Okay, well, for me, I've always been one of those people, I have to be organized. And so I don't care what it says in anybody's back office in their training, if I don't know where I'm going, it's not going to happen. So I am a big list person, so I have a list for every occasion under the sun. And so that includes if I need to have a motivational something to pick me up, I have a list. I can consult my list and says, you know, oh, don't you remember you read this in, you know, chapter two of some book? And I have that highlighted on my little chart, and I'm going, I maybe I'll, so then I'll pin it up and I'll look at it to keep me going. And so, first of all, before I do anything, I have to make sure I feel good about what I'm going to do, and I have to know how I'm going to do it. So now that I'm ready to go delve into anybody, to go into that, go into anybody's little bag of tricks, you might say. <laughs> I have to have my own bag of tricks to get me prepared to even start. So I just, you know, you have to be ready to start something before it's even going to happen. So, um, you know, my biggest thing is just to make sure that I am mentally prepared to learn something new or can continue something that I've learned, whether it be through, you know, I love listening to the different training videos and the audios and getting different information. And I know that you have to listen to it more than once because there's just jam-packed with information. So I... I, my, my magic number is three. So I write down three things that I learned from something and then I'll, that I, that I, that, that either that I learned from them and then I, like Karina said, I'm a doer so I have to make sure that I practice and apply it. So I have to go and do that a couple, you know, more than once after I've done that for, you know, say this week, these are my three things I'm going to work on. You know, like, maybe this week I'm going to concentrate on different ways that I can help other people. So I will be spending this week, you know, digging into different ways I can help either, no matter what they want to do, what their needs are, I am going to figure out a way to help them. And so that I'm going to have that list of things to go back to, of things that I've learned this week. So I've always want to do, I always make myself learn something new every week. But I only, and that, I only really focus on one thing to learn, even though I have a list of three, but um, I concentrate on one thing because I know you can't learn everything all at once. And so I just kind of hit the surface on three, and then I focus on one, and so then when I feel like that I want to, you know, help people again, then I can go back to my list and say, oh, well, this is going to review my list and see if there's anything what what next I want to really concentrate on. So, you know, I like to I like to be able to help people. And so, um I I I'm just my big thing is list. I just know I live by the list. <laughs> and so I've got a list for everything. I have a list for everything. So I know if I need to write a blog, I have a list. In fact I have a four page list now because I went through this weekend because whenever I'm not creative, I make these lists, and I have this four-page list so I can combine things together, and I can, you know, get really inspired because I said, oh, this is great, because, you know, you have those days, and you just get really inspired to do something. So the way that I, my best tool for me to keep me in my mindset in the positive sense is to have good lists, and I have plenty of lists, and you know, I, that, that's going to be a whole other topic on lists. I, <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I've been nicknamed Queen of the List actually by my friends because I have a list for everything, for every reason. I mean, even when I was a mom raising young kids, I had a list of things to do when your kids were noisy and when your kids were quiet. I had a list for everything. And I know how, and I, so I can do, anybody has a problem, I can tell them how to solve it by making a list. <laughs> that's, so that's, that's awesome. My favorite tool is being prepared and having a list. That's, that's great. That's awesome. So if we need any kind of list for anything, Stephanie's already got it made for us. Just go to her and she'll help you with that. Um, but also, another thing, Stephanie, you should think about taking those lists and making them into some content. I know that's totally like not the topic right now, but I just had to throw that out there to you because I think that's awesome. 
So take all those really awesome lists that you have and make them into blog posts, like how to stop your child from crying, da da da, -da and so on and so forth. That would be some great content. It definitely help someone out. It helps your list go viral. I think that's a great idea. All right, so uh, mine, I actually have quite, uh, it's kind of hard to pick. I have a lot of stuff that I love with mindset because it's definitely one of the most important things. That's why we dedicated Mondays to Mindset Monday because you can never get enough mindset. It's just physically impossible because there is so much garbage in this world and so much garbage you've probably experienced in your life that it's something that you have to continually take in on a regular basis to brainwash your brain with the good stuff as we like to call it here. You know, wash out the bad stuff and wash in the good. And so for me, um, the, the top thing for me is my spirituality that helps me get my mindset together. So reading uh, the scriptures and some of the, the advice in the scriptures is some of the best mindset stuff that I personally have ever witnessed and I can find. So that's my, that's my number one resource. Uh, next is keeping myself healthy. If I'm not exercising and I'm not eating good, then my mind is going to have a real hard time keeping up with what I need to be doing on a regular basis. So. Um, with that comes sleeping good. If you're not sleeping good on a regular basis, these all affect our mindset as well as our overall health, and that's not good. So I do my best to keep those top two things in tip-top shape because if I don't, then my mind suffers and my work suffers, and none of that's good. We don't want that. So those are, those are my top ones. And then um, the inner circle, which is training that we have on our team that's amazing listening to one audio a day and like Karina said not just listening to the audio but taking notes making my own list kinda of like Stephanie does um, but I tend to make it probably a longer list than three I literally write down every you know thing that comes to my mind that I really love and that way I can go back and reference that later on when I decide to write a blog post or make a video or just get some more inspiration so I definitely think taking notes and, and making lists are definitely an awesome idea so I listen to one of those a day. Um, if I have a lot of extra time, sometimes I'll do two a day, but always one a day because that always keeps you going. If you keep reading, you know, if you are spiritual and you're reading your scriptures on a daily basis, that keeps you going. If you're praying every day, that keeps you going. Taking care of your health and your fitness, that keeps you going. Listening to mindset training every day, all this stuff just keeps the, the wheels turning in the right direction, which is what we want. Um, another thing that helped me out tremendously is a process called EFT which is also um, called tapping and EFT stands for emotional freedom technique and it's basically using pressure points to tap on them and to release um, basically the baggage of your subconscious, the things that you say while you're going through them help just lessen the burden of those things and it helps you literally rewire your subconscious so that was one of the biggest tools that um, I've actually known it since 2008 but I kind of forgot about it for a while and I just you know, got myself reintroduced to it earlier in the beginning of this year, and it's something that I do my best to also kind of like with exercise use on a regular basis because the more you apply it, the more you use it, the better results you're going to get. It's not something that you can, you could do it every once in a blue moon, but if you do that, you're not going to get the true benefit from it. So it's kind of like exercise. The more consistent you are, the better your results are going to be with reprogramming your subconscious mind. So that's something I recommend. There's tons of free resources out there. Um, I personally paid um, to, to take a class that I absolutely love, and I enjoy the group so much, and I'm so happy that I did that. But if you want free resources, I'm going to be you know sending that out to everyone a little bit later on so they can do that. Um, think and Grow Rich has got to be one of my favorite, you know, um, success type of books that are out there. I've read it, I don't know, probably almost seven times now, I believe. And no matter how many times you read it, you always end up learning something new. And it kind of makes me think of the scriptures because no matter how many times I read them, I learn something new or you understand something at a better level, a deeper level. And with Think and Grow Rich, what's cool about it is in almost every chapter, they actually break down step by step in a list format, kind of like Stephanie was saying, in a list format, how to do these things. So literally you take this little list that is in there and you just go down the line and apply and apply and apply. And it, so there's no mystery. There's no like, like some of these self-help books, you know, you read them and they tell you about their concepts and do this and do that, but they don't put it in the step by step format and it makes it hard for the majority of people to comprehend how to get to that point A to point B. So with Think and Grow Rich, it really lays everything out. So if you actually read it and apply it 
in your life, you can't just read it. If you just go read it, it's not going to work. You have to read and you have to apply, just like with the inner circle and all the other stuff that we're talking about. You can't just learn these things. You have to actually be diligent and apply them on a regular basis. So that brings me to motivation. Motivation comes back to knowing why you're doing what you're doing, what's your intent, um, why are you here, why is it that you want to accomplish these things. And meditation has helped me out tremendously. Um, I actually just started meditating maybe a month and a half ago, like really meditating. I think I've meditated here and there, but like meditating on a regular basis. So I have um, meditations for various things. You know, when I'm feeling a little bit down and depressed, I have meditations to help lift up my mood and, and get me going in the right direction again. Um, meditations for when I'm like restless and I can't sleep at night to help me get a good night's sleep. And, and other meditations that, you know, when your mind's going a mile a minute and you've got like a bazillion things going on in your head and you need to calm and focus, I have meditations for that. So the meditations have really helped me start focusing and to also get my daily, you know, assignments done and my tasks done that I need to get done and just overall just be in better health in general. So I definitely um, highly recommend meditating. Um, let me see. I think there was one more thing that was on my list that I wanted to talk about. Oh, I'm signed up for this thing. It's completely free. It's called Tut, T-U-T, Notes from the Universe. I like to call it Notes from God, but a lot of people like to call God the Universe to each their own. But um, each, each day, Monday through Friday, you get these really awesome, inspiring notes. I posted some of mine on Facebook. Actually, I'm going to start posting them every single day, the ones that I get. But they're so encouraging. Like It really is like almost like a, a love note from God to you or from the universe to you. And it's really uplifting, and it just brightens up my day. And there's always something encouraging. And not just encouraging, but like those aha, you know, type of thoughts where you're like, why didn't I think of that before? So um, I'll send that resource out to everyone that wants to join that. It is totally free and it's really great. And there's one other book um, besides Think and Grow Rich that I think is absolutely um, amazing. Well, it's actually kind of, um, it's not really considered a book, but it's in, in a book. It's more like a system. There's like these chapters, but they're not really chapters, but it's like a system basically of all this stuff condensed into one thing. It's called the Master Key System. And that's another free res resource that I'm going to hand out to everyone. However, I will preface that before you go into the Master Key System, because it is um, a on a deeper level, I highly recommend going through and completing Think and Grow Rich, which means not just reading it, what? Applying what you learn as you go, and then go to the Master Key System. So that will be some of the stuff that I hand out to everyone. So. That's what I have to say about that. Um, ladies, I know we're getting close. Is there any final words like why you love mindset uh, training, why you love the inner circle, or anything else that you want to share? Well, I'd like, to, I'd like to share one more thing real quick in response to what you just shared. Um, you know, I've tried meditation many times in my life, and it just doesn't work for me. But I was actually, I went, I had an aha moment when you mentioned tapping. Um, at my job, I used to do that with my clients. I went through a training, a class also, to learn how to do the tapping, and that method actually really worked. And I haven't used it in a long time, but it's not like it's going to, you know, pick you back up again. <laughs> yeah, no, I just wanted to say about the, the, tap, the, the notes from the universe. Sometimes those are really, really spooky, how, how appropriate they are. I just, I just had a quick look at the one that I... Um, you know, I mentioned I had a, a part-time job, which at, at the time was nine to two, and um, it was, you know, to keep me going whilst I was getting the, the team inspire. The, the idea was for team inspire to to, to uh, do the thing. But um, this day, I got this one uh, tucked. I don't know if you remember it, and it always puts your name in it. And sometimes, Jan, when circumstances or disappointments bump you off track, it's the beginning of an even bigger dream coming true that could not have come true on the track you were on. And uh, at the, on, at that, on that particular day, I didn't understand that at all, really, but you, you just take it on board. But then later that day, I, I was given eight weeks' notice from the, potentially eight weeks' notice from that job. And I thought, well, I had to believe that message, that there was a, a good reason for, that, for having that happen to me. And the very next day, there was an advert for a nail technician down the road on a self-employed basis, which of course is what I want to do. And I would never have applied for that if I hadn't been given notice the day before. 
and I'm not, I even had my uh, you know, ears open to any possibility if I'd not read that message and, and I applied for it and I, and I got it. So it was so weird. And so if you've got uh, your mind open like that to, to things, it can totally change your life around. I could have just been miserable about the fact that I'd been given eight weeks notice. Eight weeks notice. Because of, because of that note from the universe. Um, it was really exciting. So yeah, definitely, it's definitely a good one to, to go for, guys. <laughs> Stephanie, did you have any final words? I just want to say that I know we have all these great tools available for us, all of us to get to be in the right mindset, but I just want to um, say that um, I know we try hard, that our heart is sometimes to be in the right mindset, and that we shouldn't be discouraged if our mind isn't quite in the right place that we always can say there's always tomorrow so we can always make up for lost ground that we, that you might have for the if you're in a time and you're not in the right mindset yeah I, I agree don't you know be too hard on yourself when you're first getting started with mindset training um, and especially if you've been through a lot in your past your your subconscious is gonna try to fight you hardcore like it's a battle first of all you gotta realize that about 90% of your mind is your subconscious and 10% is your conscious so even if your conscious is saying hey I know that I'm beautiful and I know that I'm smart and I know that I am you know worth more than this if your subconscious has been told something different guess what it's gonna it's gonna win it's gonna triumph over that until you learn to rewire and reprogram that so initially it might be very difficult and you might struggle I know um, when I first started with mindset training um, back in probably 2006 maybe 2005 is when I had a little bit here and there I struggled with it I mean my mind was fighting me hardcore on a subconscious level to not to just reject it and not want anything with it and so I really had this sporadic um, relationship with self-development and mindset training because it was so difficult and it did take a toll on me um, but one thing that I know is personally and this is just my recommendation is the shortcut that at least has been for me was using EFT. If I would have stuck with using EFT back in 2008 when I first learned about it and really used it on a consistent basis, it would have shortcut my learning curve. It would have shortcut the fight in my mind because it really helps you get down to that deeper level. So that's definitely something I highly recommend that anyone try. It's not difficult to learn and it's something that has been quite frankly a blessing to me. Um, and with that and having things like the inner circle and having a great team environment of people that are rally around you and support you and cheer you on, all these things are imperative to help you because maybe you don't have a great support system at your home or in your neighborhood or your city or whatever. Maybe you know there's a lot of people around you right now that are putting you down or don't believe in you. But to have a team of people that, you know, even upon just first meeting you, not only love you, but care about your well-being and do believe in you, now that's powerful. That's, I know, what has helped me personally really step out and go to that next level. Not just, you know, this team, EFT, but the training that we have, like all of it has been in conjunction. So don't be discouraged. Um, no matter where you're at in your walk with getting your mindset together, we have tools and resources for you. Please get back to whoever brought to you this hangout and ask them how you can get started today. Don't be shy. Get going. Get started. What are you waiting for? You know, Stephanie said that there's always tomorrow. However, I know because I lost my son, you're not promised tomorrow. So make every single day count. Every breath counts. Go get it now. What are you waiting for? Don't wait. Just go now and take care of it. Start living your purpose today. Start realizing that you're worth more and that you will be more. We're here to help you, and this is the Ladies Only Hangout. It's Mindset Monday. We're going to see you guys on Thursday night and next Monday. Make sure to get back to that person that brought you here. Ask them any questions. They're here to help you, and we love you all. Bye for now, everyone.